doing the Volvo Ocean Race as an onboard reporter had been my dream for a long time. Um, I followed the race uh, for several editions and really worked about four years to get that job. Uh, so when I got the call, it was really, really exciting. It, it was quite quick as well. It was probably about four months before the actual start of the race. I got a call from Ian Walker. Uh, they were looking for an onboard reporter and <clears throat> within a week I was in Qashqais with the team doing a training run across the Atlantic. And when we got to Newport, um, I got the job, so it happened really quick. I think the Volvo Ocean Race is exactly what it looks like on camera. Uh, if you've never seen it, it's extremely wet, um, big waves, it, uh, the boats uh, are some of the fastest monohulls around. And uh, you know, it's just a tour de force. It's the longest sporting event in the world, I believe. It takes nine months to go around the world. You cover uh, in total over 60,000 miles and you sail through every ocean. Um, we stopped at 10 different cities, so there were nine legs. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a hardcore uh, offshore event. Part of the Volvo rules is that the onboard reporters can't sail at all. So we're not allowed to touch any lines, we can't stack, uh, we can't drive, we can't have any input really on the, the performance of the boat. Um, and that, that took a little bit of time getting used to, but once you resign yourself to the fact that those guys are, you know, the pros, they do everything really well, and you, you, you admit that really quickly and you kind of sit back and you do your job really well because you want to be, you know, on the same level of professionalism with those guys. Yeah, it, it took a little bit of time getting used to, but your day is plenty full just focusing on the media output. So my role here is I'm basically managing both the media strategy as well as the content creation uh, and just making life easier for the guys on the boat. Um, they don't need to worry about that and there's plenty of media requests that come in and also how we kind of create the brand of SoftBank uh, Team Japan so it's really exciting. So we hit the ground running here in Portsmouth um, just trying to get all of our bases covered and we're going to keep building on that as the, uh, as the World Series and eventually the Cup goes on. A little bit different than maybe some of the other um, PROs and other teams. I, 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 I do the photography and, and the video, so I was out in the water uh, on the rib and um, been on the boat as well, shooting with them, doing some onboard stuff. So, yeah, kind of trying to try to push the limits of what's possible and create some new images. The skills between shooting on board um, these uh, AC-45s and shooting on board a Volvo 65 are directly transferable. Um, the difference is that it could be a sunny day here and it feels like you're in the Southern Ocean when you're riding these. Um, and that's just because the spray is all up in your face. It's entirely wet. You're really doing, you know, kind of water, seawater management with all of your photos, trying to keep your lenses clear. Um, so that was, you know, just, just full on, but it's really exciting. And, but I'll tell you, the, the one minute, as, as soon as I stepped on the 45 to sail with these guys, it just took me one minute and I was pretty scared with how fast these are and where, the, where you sit for the ride along is right at the edge and um, it's much more scary than the entire Volvo Ocean Race, so pretty cool.